Now, who here has ever used McDonald's? <laughs> Everyone, exactly, right? So, you all know how famous McDonald's is. So, over the years, they've obviously done something, right? So, it's understandable that you might be interested in investing in them at some point. So, before we give you the uh, statistics of their finances, let's look at McDonald's background. That picture is of Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's Corporation. This all started in 1940 when he stumbled upon the McDonald's Brothers Burger franchise or Burger Joint. The McDonald's Brothers did something very different for their time. They served a very limited menu that uh, consisted of the three basic food groups, milkshakes, fries, and cheeseburgers. And this allowed them to buy goods in bulk so they could be produced very cheaply and very quickly. So he knew the uh, McDonald's Brothers wanted something great here, so he proposed the idea of franchises to them. They bought it, and in 1955, the first franchise was opened in Illinois. Five years later, he buys the franchise name, and then they continue to expand it over all across the U.S. In the 70s, they spread overseas, and who wants to guess how many uh, franchises there are worldwide now? Anyone? 5,000. 5,000? No. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> 35,000. There you go. So, McDonald's is continuing to expand all over the world, so. McDonald's performance over the recent years. They are doing, they have done very well over recent years. And keep in mind, these numbers are all in millions, so they're dealing with vast sums of money, and it has steadily increased, all these numbers have steadily increased from 2011 to 2013. Their assets have, but assets, operating income, and net income, showing that they are on an upward trend. And this seems to be uh, the case for now still, according to recent stock trends. Now look at the liquidity of McDonald's. I get one else we use the current ratio. We found that for every dollar of current liabilities, they have $1.59 of current assets, which is pretty good. And also, it's an increase. Uh, in 2012, it was uh, $1.44 of current assets. So it's increasing, it's a good sign. Uh, now, for solvency, uh, the debt to asset ratio, we found uh, 56%. So if uh, creditors are financing 56% of the uh, operations of McDonald's, which Half, uh, a little more than half, so it's not great, but with a big company like that, it's what you uh, expect. And for the profitability, um, we looked at the profit margin, and we found uh, they uh, earn about 20 cents for every dollar they make, which is uh, really good and very profitable. And also, they get a lot of profit from uh, their earnings, uh, or their shares, uh, which is about $5.55, uh, which is a big increase uh, from 2011, which was so the two competitors we took a look at were Jack in the Box and Wendy's. And because McDonald's is a larger company, it's only fair to compare them using ratios. So as you can see, Wendy's current ratio is higher than McDonald's ratio. But McDonald's does beat Jack in the Box in general, you do want a higher current ratio. On the contrary, you want a lower debt to assets ratio, which is the same when these beats McDonald's and McDonald's outperforms Jack in the Box. However, where McDonald's does excel is in its profit margin, where it has over 10 times profit margin of Wendy's and also outperforms Jack in the Box. With the current events, uh, with few exceptions, the restaurant industry has been going down. When, um, McDonald's is no exception. It hasn't been performing as well as it should. However, it has been doing better. Uh, one current event that stuck out to us was the huge loss in October due to the meat singing scandal, which took place in China. McDonald's was accused of selling and that just makes a negative impact on the company's image. All right, um, but with this rough patch McDonald's is going through, they, there is light at the end of the tunnel for them. Um, McDonald's is continuing to expand globally into countries such as uh, Kazakhstan for the first time for their markets. Um, also, uh, sales and employees or sales and employment in the restaurant industry is also at a steady increase. So this is beneficial for McDonald's as a whole and to, for their sales as well. 
And uh, our decision was that um, based on our financial information, we would recommend investing in McDonald's as a company. And because um, even though they did, they did uh, experience some decline in, in the fall, um, they are continuing to expand and doing well overall. And uh, the reasons why we would recommend investing in McDonald's is because um, they are, uh, there are steadily increasing numbers over the years. Um, it is one of the longstanding uh, chains in the um, food competition, in the fast food chains. And then also there's an upper trend in its stock. Um, and this is successful, and this is um, due to successful um, pattern as it recovers from the difficulties this fall which um, has been like declining for the company. So, yeah, any questions?